The Hover One Alpha is an entry-level scooter. At least that's what it says on paper. You don't often see $400 scooters with large pneumatic tires and 400W motors, so the Hover One Alpha is an interesting find. In this Hover One Alpha review, we'll unravel the electric scooter to decide whether it's a rare entry-level find. Or is it a mediocre scooter hidden behind a strong build and good ride quality? To whom? At its current price, the Hover One Alpha scooter has beginner written all over it. It has very good tires, but there is no suspension system. That tells you that it's not built for rough roads, even though it does a good job of muting bumps. Hover One Alpha performance. The surprises start with the Hover One Alpha's top speed. The manufacturer claims that it tops out at 18 mph, yet some user tests show that it's a few miles faster. With enough road to speed up, it has a top speed of 21 mph. To put that into perspective, the proclaimed best scooter on the planet, the Inta IM EM IM365, has a top speed of 15.5 mph. Brakes The rear disc brake is controlled by a lever on the left handlebar. It feels too weak even after tweaking it. And that's a problem because this scooter is quite fast. Many users have had to drag a foot along in a last-minute attempt to stop in time. In other words, this is not a scooter that will stop on a dime. Hover One Alpha Design and Features Build Quality Despite its shortcomings, the Hover One Alpha electric scooter is remarkably built. It feels solid from the handlebars to the rear fender and boasts a spacious build. The stem is thick and wobble-free, and the deck feels strong and stable. It almost feels like it can carry more than the recommended 264 pounds. Is Hover One Alpha waterproof? Disappointingly, the Hover One Alpha scooter lacks an IP rating. Its lack of water protection makes it very vulnerable when riding in wet conditions. As such, you should avoid riding in the rain or over puddles as much as possible. Portability Folded dimensions 44 inch into 19 inch into 9. The folding mechanism brings down the stem towards the deck after which you can hook it up to the rear fender. It's a design that works, especially since your biggest concern will probably be the scooter's height. When folded, the length and the weight remain the same, 36.2 pounds, so it's still on the larger side. Therefore, it's safe to say that it's not very portable. Wheels and Tires The Hover One Alpha has Eintosselin wheels. They are 10-inch air-filled tires that do a great job of damping bumps. They're so good that you'll barely notice the lack of a suspension system if you never go off-road. Cockpit The left side of the cockpit features the brake lever, while the right side has a simple thumb throttle. The display sits at the center and shows the scooter's battery life, riding mode, and speed, albeit with some level of inaccuracy. Hover One Alpha Ride Quality The Hover One Alpha is very comfortable to ride on asphalt, pavement, and other smooth surfaces. The large pneumatic wheels help a lot. They're wider, so the scooter rides more stably. Thanks to the air cushion, you won't feel most bumps, and the least, they won't vibrate your wrists and ankles to death. Overview The Hover One Alpha is what you get when you want to spend less for speed and comfort. At its current price, it offers incredible value to casual riders and last-mile commuters. There's no ignoring the lack of suspension or the subpar braking. You can almost forgive these omissions when you realize that it's faster and almost as comfortable as the M365. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.